Hi, I'm Dave Yin, uh, staff writer at CDN, and today I'm joined by Mike Canavan, Vice President of Sales Engineering at Kaspersky Lab, and Scott Montgomery, Vice President and Chief Technology Strategist at Intel Security Group. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Really appreciate it. And so I guess today we're taking a look at the state of security in the IT industry, and um, namely, the, just the prevalence of hacks, despite the number of, you know, new solutions that um, security vendors such as yourself um, come out with. And I guess so to start off with, um, uh, the obviously Ashley Madison is um, in the news right now. And um, mm -hmm. one of the most interesting revelations, I think, has been the fact that um, hackers have said, um, that there was very little security to speak of, which is very interesting given the nature of this particular website. And so my first question would be, you know, how much security are businesses actually deploying and um, does it come anywhere close to what their clients expect from them? What I've found with customers is that the implementation level uh, from customer to customer can greatly vary. So for example, um, like in our Kaspersky Endpoint Security for Business solution, you know, it covers endpoint security functionality, uh, file and folder encryption, application control, vulnerability assessment, and patch management. There's quite a lot there. Um, you know, customers, as we come back a year later, two years later, three years later, the amount that they've implemented is drastically different. Um, and, and that's kind of driven by what you're talking about here with the expectation of their customers, of, of what security level are their customers expecting. That's really the IT sec uh, or IT security uh, manager's role is to try to kind of figure out what that expectation is and then make sure he's tailoring his security policy to that to that expectation. What this also points out is, is what is the value of the data of the organization. The reason that these breaches keep happening is because data is valuable. There is a valuable uh, value to data. Different data has different values. But obviously the reason that Ashley Madison in particular is so interesting and so titillating is because that that data has a value to the users that they they would prefer that it remain private but I think this is where organizations need to do a little bit better job of focusing is deciding what data is actually valuable to whom and what it's worth to protect it well um let's address that discrepancy then so um, how much of it is that businesses are simply not deploying the solutions that are available to them that may be able to prevent these hacks? We see the full range, you know, there's kind of no average on the amount of implementation of the security suite that we offer that's in place today. And that's just one product set. I mean, keep in mind that, you know, this this is not just limited to, to our product set, but all product sets as a whole. When you start looking at the amount of usage um, in relation to the total potential functionality that's available, that used amount is usually a very small percentage. People are moving, practitioners in particular, are moving from a breach avoidance posture to a breach limitation posture. We're going to be breached. The math is against us. It is inevitable if we have valuable data that we're going to be breached. So how do we limit the amount of time between the time we've been breached and the time we discover it and the time between when we discover it and when we fully remediate it? This is what I think practitioners are focusing on today. At CDN, we've also documented sort of the rise of um, managed security service providers. Um, in your opinion, has the practice caught on quickly enough? And um, should the channel um, be pushing more security or uh, switching up its approach in any way? So in my experiences, there's, there's a full range of uh, MSSPs who fully understand uh, all of the security aspects. And then there's still um, a good handful of MSSPs that are just more about the management of application. And, um, you know, they want to just deliver a, a simple uh, endpoint security solution in our example, down to their down to their clients, and they might not have those sophisticated workflows. And, and that's okay, depending on the type of customer. And, and again, what those expectation of, you know, the net end user customers are in this situation. Is there enough traction there? And are there enough credible players there? Maybe not, because the demand is so intense. But the people, there are credible offerings in that space. To your point, are there enough of them? No, probably not. Again, the number of practitioners small, demand intense. What is it that uh, enterprises still have to do to really to avoid some of these problems? 
there has to be a collaboration, a partnership between the data owners and information security so that they can focus on the most uh, valuable information. Once they have that, the next subtle shift is around efficiency. But organizations have to look, am I getting the most efficient use out of every single labor hour of my practitioners? And I think this is one where organizations have failed a little bit. They've bought more and more tools, 50 tools, 60 tools, 70 tools. Did any of those tools lend themselves to more efficient security? The answer is no. Thank you so much for joining us today, um, Mike and Thank Scott. Thank you very much. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for having me. Uh, happy to help out. And that was Mike Canavan, Vice President of Sales Engineering at Kaspersky Lab, and Scott Montgomery, Vice President and Chief Technology Strategist at Intel Security Group. Um, I'm Dave Yin for CDN. Um, thank, see you next time.